I've got another opportunity for you. How would you like to work with Alex on the festival upgrade service? It'll be fun, trust me. Alex wants to set up shop here doing custom upgrades. He's calling it Upgrade Heroes, and he needs a business partner who can really drive, but don't tell him I said that. You in? I'll let Alex know. He's been waiting to hear if you wanted the business. Hey, great to see you. Look. I've got a bit of a business idea here. There's loads of cars around here that have real potential. I call them Upgrade Heroes. You go get the car, we do the magic, then show everyone what an Upgrade Hero can do. Sounds good? Good. Uh-oh. And you get to drive the courtesy car. You ready for this? We're going to teach the whole of Horizon that with a wee bit of an upgrade, any car can be a hero. Let's get to work. Right, uh, here's where we're supposed to make our very first pickup. Uh, are you nervous? Uh, me? I'm not nervous. The 510, not bad. Japanese engineering, European styling. Best of both worlds, truly. Really. Got a good one to start, a Datsun. A client says it was the first car they ever owned, and they always dreamed of winning races in it. Or at least, you know, being able to overtake something. Bring it back, but try not to smash it up. Remember, it's not yours. to work. It's ready. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Ta-da! What do you think? We've gone lower, wider, faster. Twin turbo inline six under the hood producing 337 horsepower. Oh, and there's that nonsense we strapped to the front too. Time to show it off. How about you take it into Edinburgh? And feel free to, you know, open it up on the way. Listen to that! Never heard a dancing sound like that, have you? Another one. 
Hello again. Uh, remember when I said we'd have clients lining up in no time? Well, we've got clients lining up. So it's go time. The client is an old Audi to just putter around town in, but they've always wanted to go off-road. This is one after my own heart. Let's help him out. along in a minute. Ah, it's a Sport Quattro. An 83, I think. See, they stripped all the fun stuff out and sold a few of them as production cars, which is where this one must have come from. So it turns out the client doesn't just want to go off-road. They want to... go off-road. Group B style. Well, off we go. Don't crash it on the way back. Cheers. The team can't wait. This thing was built for Group B rallying, which, as we know, was completely mad. But hey, we like mad. All done. You want to see it? No. It's got the trademark four-wheel drive system, which should help you handle the dirt. And we've bumped it up to 800 brake horsepower, which might not help, but, oh, blimey, it'll be good fun. I've laid in a rally route for you. I tried to convince a client to sit in his co-driver, but they were a bit too scared. show with the specs and modifications listed for all to see. Be your own upgrade hero. Got a ring to it, don't you think? Guess what? Our upgrade hero home kits have been flying off the shelves at the auto show. I figured you should get a royalty. After all, it's your driving that sells them. Next client says they're already packing some serious American muscle, but they want to see if we can beef it up at all. Off you go. You're there for the pickup. Good. Let's see what we've got. Four. El Camino Super Sport 454. 454 cubic inches of engine. What on earth did it want us to do with... All right, all right then. Challenge accepted, my friend. Try not to damage it and try not to flog it too hard. Yet. Thank you kindly. I'll get the team to work. I think you're gonna like this one, but best prepare yourself. We chucked in a seven-liter supercharged V8. Makes over a thousand horsepower. 
Man, I'm scared to even stand near it. They dared us to beat this thing up. Well, I'm sure this client we're not afraid of a little dare, eh? Tell the client they can have their beefed up muscle car back. But they're not too chicken. You may have met this next client actually. Rob Glenn. It runs Drift Club here at the festival. Anyway, says he's got a Mazda we can look at. And I think I know what he wants done with it. So he's having one of his drift clubbers bring the car down. Bingo. RX-7. Totally reliable and maybe the best drift platform ever built. Get it down here. If it's a Mazda, I think it is, and he wants what I think he wants. This shouldn't be too hard. And we haven't even started fiddling yet. So, try to keep the back end on the road, eh? After that, I'll get the team started. Right, are you ready to see Rob Glenn's new toy? It's a wide body drift conversion. Seriously, you and Rob are going to be the envy of everyone at Horizon Drift Club. Let's take it down to Edinburgh, shall we? I've heard they have street corners there. view from the castle, isn't it? Enjoy. It's about to get a lot quicker and more sideways. I've set you a route around the city. You should get those drift clubbers talking. Now, the trick is not to stomp the throttle too hard. You have to feather it into the turn. Just my opinion. Ask Rob if you want the full lecture. Right. Time to let that back end go. Ah! 
You know, stop making it so easy. Well, next time Rob Glenn corners me for a good long chat about the finer points of drifting, I'm telling him to call you. You're here. A next climb fancies themselves a bit of a drag racer, but they never had the time or skill to put in the work under the hood. That's where you and I and the upgrade heroes come in. Chevy Bel Air, oh, it is a thing of beauty. Do we have to drag race? Uh, can't we just cruise in it for a bit? Forget the client. If you damage a work of art like that, you have to answer to me. Right, let's get the team to work here. They're all finished. Prepare to feast your eyes and your ears. We lowered the ride and put in a seven liter supercharged engine. This thing will destroy just about anything off the line and it'll look gorgeous doing it. So I've set you a route. It's um, more or less straight. some lights, whatever you do, don't rev your engine at them. Do you want to see how long the upgrade hero's waiting list has got? You don't, trust me. Come on, let's get to work. 
Right, I need you to go and pick me up a Land Rover. Client wants it for an off-road trip. Okay then. Rover for an off-road trip. Uh, what more do they want? It's a 1997 Land Rover Defender. Solid platform. I think the upgrade heroes can build on that. That landy is more or less indestructible already, but that's no reason not to be careful on the drive back. Now, let's get him ready for his trip around the world. This is some of our best work yet. Wait till you see. Supercharged 6.2 litre V8. Fully modern suspension setup. There'll be no stopping this thing now. Unfortunately, we can't send you around the world, but I've got a test location picked out. Check your route. anywhere from Britain to Borneo. And you won't even need a guidebook. Just remember, if things get a little bumpy, if you're scared you might be about to roll over, keep pushing, because that's exactly the sort of thing we're after. Right, it's monsoon season in the Amazon. Off you go.
idea. I don't know about you, but I feel like we've been around the world. Knackered. Nice work. I'll call the client with the good news. Oh, we're busy. I knew it would be, but not like this. We've got a waiting list. For the waiting list. <laughs> Interesting one today. Peugeot. Hot hatch. I'll explain more when we get there. See, this anonymous client says they have a potential dirt monster on their hands, but they want to see if it could be made to handle the asphalt as well. Which sounds a lot like a bet I made with Jay a while back. Not saying it's him, but... Well, if it was, he wouldn't want to be too obvious about it, would he now? Ha! Peugeot 205 TT. All right, Jay, you're on. I'll see your little rally car and raise you a lethal street racer. Right. Bring it back to the shop, but not a scratch, understand? I'd never hear the end of it. I'll get the team working, and if anybody asks, mum's the word, eh? Right, it's done. Come on in and see. Four-wheel drive, 800 horsepower. Plus, chassis stiffening roll bars and reduced weight. I could hit the dirt on this thing in the morning and Jay could smoke all comers and tar that night. If we could ever share it, that is. Here's your route. Might as well test this thing out in its natural environment, eh? what we talked about. Let's see how hot this hatch can get. I'm not actually sure what to call this. Car... parkour, maybe? It doesn't matter. If you want to see what a car like this can do, this is the perfect place. Go on, get sideways. Throw that back end out. Just pretend you're Jay. But with my looks.
Jay a call and thank him. Whether it was actually him that put us up to this or not, I think we could both learn something from this thing. Have you seen this? There's an Upgrade Heroes fan page. People are on there sharing cars and performance specs, talking about you and me and... Ugh, let's not look at that anymore. Back to work, eh? Next job is a Ford. And the client says they've had it forever and they love it to death, but it's getting a little sluggish in its old age. Let's see what we can do. peeled. If it's as old as they say, it shouldn't be hard to pick out. Ah, Ford Deluxe. Very nice. No wonder it's slowing down though. Bit long in the tooth. Tell you what, if we do this right, this one ought to look good on the Upgrade Heroes fan page. Now don't break it on the way back, huh? That thing is a genuine antique. No marks on it. Lovely. I'll get the mechanics to work. So the client wanted drag race speed and street race handling. Well, their wish is our command. Seven liter supercharged engine, Lord profile, improved performance. So it looks like an old classic, but you're only as old as you feel inside, aren't you? Let's test that straight line speed first, then we'll head to city. This thing sounded good in the 40s, but now... captured feelings. If you want to take any of these cars out again, just say the words. The clients don't mind at all. Getting some serious high rollers in here now. Uh, don't get me wrong, we can make a hero out of anything and anybody, but I mean, is it so wrong to want to work in a really nice car every once in a while? Now off you go and bring me back a Bentley. Continental GT. We just look at it. 
Your eyes just sort of slide off it, it's so smooth. Yeah, we can work with this, come on. Klein says they made a bet with a friend, and now they have to turn their ultimate luxury cruiser into a race car. Well, that was silly of them. to even tinker with this one, doesn't it? Nah, don't worry. Our mechanics are artists. They've pulled it off. Oh, have they ever pulled it off. Come see. Improved aerodynamics, reduced weight, and a full rear-wheel drive conversion. So, it's no less luxurious, but now it can really put down that power. Right, we have to have this ready for the client to make good on their bet. They're racing later today in Ambleside. You can test out on the way there. What do you think? It's definitely got the speed and the handling. Does it still have the luxury? Aye, looks like it. It's a proper GT racer now. I wonder who the client made this silly bet with anyway. Hang on. What if whoever they're racing is a client too? That's a bit of a conflict of interest, isn't it? Upgrade Heroes does not take sides. Right, your work is done. I might stick around and talk to the client about this bet of theirs. Wait, why do we always have to be racing one another? Can't we all just agree the cars are the real winners? Good, good, you're here. This is it. This is the big one, the one that's going to put upgrade heroes on the map. I, I mean, we're already on the map, but... Look, just go, I'll explain on the way. Oh, by the way, your pickup. It's a conics egg.
you there? You sitting down? Good. Listen to this. So this client went out and bought themselves a Koenigsegg without realizing that a hypercar has a few very minor but very specific drawbacks. Meet the 2011 Agera. To this day, still one of the fastest production cars on Earth, but with just about enough storage space to pack a toothbrush, if it's one of those many travel ones. Bring it back to the shop, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Enjoy, but not too much. going on a trip and they're desperate for that storage space and they told us to do whatever it takes so we're going to <laughs> it's done you have to come and see this we put on a roof rack no see it's actually brilliant because at high speeds with the weight reduced it also functions as a spoiler 1400 horses of cargo transporting power sticking to the road Right, I need you to get into the Klein and Broadway quick as you can in perfect condition. I'm gonna be so happy.
materials for a bit. Too much else going on at the festival, and our waiting list is just too long. Hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you come back to visit the team. They're the real heroes after all. Heroes has shot through the roof. Two dozen drivers on the waiting list, thanks to you. I'll let you know when we bring in the next batch. I keep getting calls from Upgrade Heroes customers. Satisfied ones, I mean. Ecstatic ones, in fact. If this goes on much longer, I'm just gonna give them your number. <laughs> <laughs>